Putin missed his chance to crush Ukraine before US elections. Putin may have missed an opportunity to score a decisive military victory at the front before the presidential election in the United States. Francis Dianley writes about this in an article for The Telegraph. He recalled President Joe Biden's speech on the anniversary of D-Day, in which he linked the war in Ukraine with the sacrifice his compatriots made 80 years ago, as well as permission to use American weapons on Russian territory. Ukraine recently struck the command center in Belgorod, Russian ships in the port of Taganrog, and, in its most symbolic triumph, one of the Kremlin's most modern and expensive aircraft, the Su-57 fighter. Dian Li notes that these attacks alone do not change the strategic situation, but together with the attacks on Russian oil depots, they demonstrate that, logistically, Ukraine has reached a tipping point where it can no longer be defeated. In addition, recently approved aid from the United States is already arriving at the front and the Czech Shell initiative is moving quickly. The critical window of opportunity when Moscow outnumbered and outgunned Kiev has almost certainly passed, and as November approaches, it will cost Vladimir Putin dearly politically. His goal was to carry out a significant invasion of Ukraine before America went to the polls and putting Biden in an awkward position and obliging whoever wins the White House to force Kiev into peace talks, he added. According to the journalist, it is worth re-evaluating the period that followed the Ukrainian counter-offensive which failed. It should now be seen as a highly effective defense and a potentially decisive military victory. Let us recall that Washington has long resisted Ukraine's requests to allow American weapons to be used on Russian territory. They announced the lifting of this ban after more than 10 NATO countries supported the right of Ukrainians to defend themselves in this way. After this, a number of successful attacks on the positions of the occupiers on Russian territory were reported. The mayor of Kharkov, Igor Terekov, said that this helped reduce the intensity of shelling in the city. France's historic Palace of Versailles was briefly evacuated on Tuesday afternoon after plumes of smoke was spotted amid construction work near the Marble Court, an area of the original palace built in 1623. Hundreds of tourists and staff members were evacuated from the palace following the emergence of the smoke. Footage shared on social media showed smoke emerging from the roof of the 17th century palace located some 10 miles from the center of Paris. French media reported that a fire alarm was triggered in one of the buildings and alerted staff who promptly called the emergency services. Footage showed hundreds of palace visitors flooding the courtyard outside one of the buildings as the firefighters entered the building to locate and extinguish the flames. Associated Press reported, with reference to the palace press office that there was no fire, but smoke was emanating from a hot zone in the wood. The office said local firefighters quickly put out the smoke. Palace of Versailles is among France's most popular tourist destinations along with the likes of the Eiffel Tower, Notre Dame Cathedral and the Louvre. Ah non, c'est un feu, regarde, ça fume noir. Ah oh non, tu sais, les pompiers là, ils sont partis en courant. C'est une chance quand on comptait ça comme qui Je sais pas. Non, prends pas de soins vidéo toi.